this. How about that firewood? We need some more heat in here. Did you see anything out there, Dr. C? Anything large, white, and furry? Bill, forget the abominable snowman and shut the door. Ha! This room will be muy caliente in no time. Goodness, I hope the smell of smoke from our fire doesn't frighten the huge snow creature away. Now, Phil, there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of any such creature. We're here to see a much more impressive and real phenomenon, the northern light. All I see out there is northern dark. Whoa! This window is freezing. Th there's a lot of cold coming into the glass. Uh, no. Actually, there's a lot of heat going out through the glass. Oh, Phil's right. Heat always moves from hotter stuff to colder stuff. Some things, like that thin glass, let the heat move out easily. They're called conductors. But heat moves much more slowly through some other things, like these thick logs. They tend to hold heat in. They're called insulators. I don't get it. <laughs> Neither did Crow, but he learned quickly and in the process built for me the most wonderful creation that I still remember to this very day. Phil fell into a glacier. It was like a big deep freeze. But he was brought back to life to his surprise in the 20th century. So listen as Phil takes us back to wonders of long ago. And weaves a tale of fully Phil and an ice age boy named Crow. We'll be right back. Will you watch my baby? Certainly. Cookie <laughs> Crisp. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Could you speed it up a little bit, Mojo? I'd like to shower sometime today, please. Oh, what's the big rush, Dale? The geyser just spouted. There's plenty of hot water for everyone. It's not as if it's suddenly going to... Stop. Goodness, that tremor must have affected the source of our geyser. You don't mean... Yes. I'm afraid our trustworthy geyser is busted. Busted? Well, just look at me. I'm covered in soap. What am I supposed to do? Rinse off in the ice-cold river? Hmm? This is an outrage. Well, at least it's just soap you're covered with. I just completed a full-blown mud wallow. Refreshing, but terribly messy, as well you know. You do look pretty filthy, Phil. And you don't exactly smell like a bed of roses, either. Why, if I didn't know better, I'd swear there was a human present. Oh, oh. time to get up. up. <sighs> Everyone up! It's Crow's birthday time! Oh, oh, birthday time is almost here. It comes this time every year. Got no presents, cake or stuff. Happy song is just enough. Happy, happy. Oh, what matter? Crow no like Nandy's birthday song? I'm sure I love it. Just as soon as my ears stop ringing. But my birthday isn't for three days, Nandy. How come you're singing today? Yeah, how come? This is not any birthday coming. This Crow's growing up test birthday. Oh. Growing up test? What's that? To prove Crow ready to grow up, must ride on back of Mammoth for count of ten. Mammoths hate be ridden. Wow, tough test. How did you pass it, Og? Og never pass growing up test. Why am I not surprised? Og not have to. 
Clancy leadership quality when our baby. Big muscles, big forehead, big mouth, big <laughs> Only one way to pass test. Sneak up, jump down, hang on, hope for best. Right, Gog? Gog set record. Stay on for count of 12. Only break six bones. Well, there must be a better way than that. Has anyone ever tried asking a mammoth for a ride? Gog not. Uh-uh. Never. Nope. I think I might be onto something here. Can you fix it, Phil? No, I'm afraid it can't be fixed. Oh, no. I was really looking forward to a nice hot shower. Go! Phil, are you okay? Don't ask. I'm filthy dirty, the geyser is broken, I've smacked my knee with this tool, and my generally cheerful nature is deteriorating by the minute. Other than that, I'm uh, having a wonderful day. Hey, Phil, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> how's it going? You want to know how's it going? Did I come at a bad time? Oh, don't take it personally, Crow. The geyser is broken and Phil's feeling pretty low down and dirty. Oh, I'm sorry, Crow. I tell you, I would do anything for a nice hot shower. Anything. Anything? Okay, Phil needs a hot shower, right? So I'll find him one and... Wait till Phil has soap and eyes, then jump on and ride. Not exactly, Gog. I figure if I find Phil a hot shower, he'll repay me by letting me ride on his back. Where Crow gonna find hot shower without Kaiser? Well, you know that hot spring halfway up the volcano? If I bring that hot water down the hill, Phil will get his hot shower and I'll get my ride. Crow never gonna ride mammoth that way. Oh, expert on never riding mammoths. <laughs> Nandy like Crow's plan. Want to help? Okay. First, we'll need a lot of bamboo. <sighs> what matter with Og? Uh... Crow's growing up test bring up deep, unresolved feeling of inadequacy in Og. That what Gog thought. But Og ready now. Og gonna take growing up test. Og gonna ride Mammoth if it last thing Og do. Og gonna die. turn this geyser stoppage. I wouldn't be at all surprised if it weren't some kind of human conspiracy. Why don't you like the humans, Earl? They really are very nice. <laughs> nice, but a little weird sometimes. One, two... Uh, oh, yeah, three. Thank Bob. Can you talk of me, you impudent hooligan? Huh? <laughs> Og okay? Could be worse. See? We did it, Nandy. Now let's open her up. Yahoo! <laughs> 
Well, how is it? Not too hot. What? It's not hot at all. So where'd all the hot go? This is weird. The higher up I get, the warmer the water feels. <gasps> and the more tired Mandy get. <gasps> I believe that was our cue, mutt rat. Right, boss. Let's go have some lunch. Murray, your brainlessness is preceded only by your stupidity. What I do, what I do. The leader always goes first. That is why he is called the leader. <sighs> now, I'm confused. The water down there is hardly warm at all. But the water up here in this trough feels a little warmer. And the water way up there at the hot spring is really warm. So water at top hot, water in middle warm, water at bottom. Yeah, but water's losing its heat as it comes down the hill. Somehow the heat is moving out of the water and into the air, I guess. I would not overly concise myself with that if I were yous, since yous are in enough hot water as it is. <laughs> I get it, boss. Hot water. Gotcha. You were right. After the repetition, we'll be right back. Ronald, the stove's not working. Then how can we finish my happy meal? We'll use our backup system. Back up. A little more. How's this? Fine. <laughs> it works. I love having a dragon around for emergencies. Call me if you need me. Excuse me, but you have a chicken on your head. Take my camera. I'd like a picture of that. Mama's <laughs> Wacky Muppet Workshop puppets are at McDonald's. Swap their hats. Change their stuff. One with every Muppet Workshop Happy Meal you buy. Can you play my favorite song? It's not polite to sing with your mouth full. <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. His video cam sees everything. Yes, but can he see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's famous. Zoom in on this, Pop. There's swirls of cinnamon and sugar sparkling all over every bite. For an intense taste any kid can see. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch, part of this complete breakfast. That, oh, let me see that box. Hey, Mickey Mania video game stickers free. One set in each specially marked box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What does the ghost wear to a formal party? I don't know. Give up? A boo tie. <laughs> Watch me trick Fred out of this Cocoa Pebbles. Huh? Not Funch Rock! Behold my latest creation, Cocoa Rockies, the chocolatiest cereal ever. More chocolatey than my Cocoa Pebbles? Ah! Prove it. Mmm, chocolatey, super, Mundo Pebbles chocolatey. Now, try your stuff! Youch! Marty, my Cocoa Pebbles! It's time to rock and roll! How's Cocoa Pebbles cereal? Part of this complete breakfast. How do you make s'mores? Take a Hershey chocolate bar, graham crackers, and a marshmallow, and then you mix it together and you get a s'more. Not like that! Take the two graham crackers, put them on the outsides of the marshmallow and the Hershey bar. No, that's not it! <laughs> lots of graham crackers, lots of marshmallows, and lots and lots of Hershey bars. Oh. No matter how you make s'mores, make sure you make them with a Hershey yeah, bar. Now you but you can put them together any way you like. <laughs> when others ask you to do drugs, what do you say to them? No way. I respect my body, man. I'd rather stick anchovies in my ears. I don't want to look and feel like this. Take a chill pill. <sighs> Next, there's a prehistoric mystery at the Museum of Natural History. There is no ghost. It's a dinosaur. The ABC Saturday special, Crash the Curiosaurus. Sunday, it's an hour of laughs with an uplifting double episode of classic video moments, plus some that have never been seen before on America's Funniest Home Videos, Sunday here on ABC. Now Crow was truly in hot water with the dire wolves, while his hot shower project had turned totally cold. Spare me the bad puns, Bill. Finish the story. What happened? Well, Crow's bamboo pipes and open troughs didn't do a good job of keeping the heat in the water. They let the heat move out into the cooler air, you see? No, I mean, what happened with the dire wolves? Oh, well... Ow! 
Man, that thing got hot. Of course it did. That iron poker, like most metal, is a good conductor. The heat traveled quickly up from the hot end of the poker to the cold end, then into your hand. Of course, there is a way to protect your hand. An oven mitt. That ugly thing? I'd rather burn. It's an insulator, not haute couture. Very effective, too. What's an insulator? What's a haute couture? And what happened to Crow and the Dire Wolves? One question at a time, please, Mikey. First, the Dire Wolves. Do not take it personal that we are about to attack you. We are just following our predatory agents. Get away from here, you mongrel! Get! Go on! Hey, Nandy, look at that. They're afraid of a little water. We got lots of a little water. <laughs> Disappearing trick. How wolves do that? The wolves didn't do it, Nandy. The hot rocks did it. And if the hot rocks can help us once, maybe they can help us again. You see, Nandy, as the bamboo pipes go back and forth over the hot rocks, the hot rocks heat the air. The air heats the bamboo pipes, the bamboo pipes heat the water, and ta-da! A nice hot shower. It's hot, but it's not nice. Yeah. I see what you mean. At this rate, it would take hours for a big guy like Phil to get washed. Oh, man, just when I thought I had this licked. Now I'm really stumped. Nandy have idea. You do? What? You think this Nandy's first one? Oh, of course not, Nandy. Let's hear it. Well, first we get big pot. Nandy, this is great. Nandy have her moments. This will store up plenty of hot water, and Phil can have a shower whenever he wants. Nandy, when it's full, run up and close the floodgate. I'll go find Phil. Nandy really have to run? Oh, Crow, please. Can't you see I'm crankier than a saber tooth with a cavity? Trust me, he'll love this. What keep you? Nandy wait long time. Mr. Mud Monster here needed a little coaxing. But boy, is he gonna be glad he came. Ready, Phil? One, two, three! What? Too hot? Not exactly. Ah, it's cold! But, 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 when I left, the water in the tank was steaming hot. Well, it certainly cooled off. Well, not surprising, since it's been sitting in this open tank for hours now. Oh. <laughs> this stuff sticks me. Gog, put tree sap on all sitting down part. I'm gonna stay on Mammoth back real good this time. Hmm. Go, time and half the dish. Now, Crow, Nandy, listen. If you want to slow down the loss of heat, you must insulate. Okay. You real dirty and smell bad, too. <laughs> that good insult? <laughs> Not insult. Insulate. Insulate. It's how you try to keep the heat from moving from hotter stuff into colder stuff. Oh, just forget it. I'll try to explain it some other time. Man, what a grouch. I ought to just jump on his back right now and take my chances. Ah! Oh, good heavens, what now? Huh? Ah! Oops. <laughs> Sorry. How I do? Got to count of six this time. Progress. Still want to take chances? You know, I think I'll give this insulation thing a closer look. Good morning, Crow. Happy birthday. Oh, hi, Pekka. Birthday? Is it my birthday? Yeah. Have you been sleeping here all night? Oh, I guess so. I was trying to figure this insulation thing out, and I must have drifted off. Nandy must have built this fire to keep the wolves away and covered me with this straw mat to keep me warm. You should have asked me about insulation, Crow. It's easy, really. Certain things let heat move through them quickly. Other things... Like this straw mat help keep heat in. Of course. Come on, Paka. We got work to do. Well, if you knew, why did you ask? Ah, it is a new day, a new beginning. The fire has died out. The water will be avoided, and our hunger shall no longer be denied. That is beautiful, Miss Puss. What does it mean? 
means that either we get the humans today, or you will suffer the consequences. Gogs ain't time for Og to quit. Og never quit. Og be like Crow. Use brains to pass test. Buck, 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 and just what are you supposed to be? Me just bird. Land on mammoth back. Pick up bugs. Uh, buck, buck, buck off. You are a blight on this land. Now go away! He off. No, he back on! Uh, one, two, he off. He on! One, two, he off. He on! And now that we've put these thick straw mats around it and a lid on top, it's fully insulated. So the water should stay hot for a good long time now. Great. Let's go get Phil. Sorry, ah! but you and me had a previous engagement. Do not even think you can drench us with water again, for something now stands in your way. Yeah! Uh, what exactly does stand in his way, boss? You! You fleet-bitten fathead! Oh, yeah! Get off, you scurrilous scurd! Oh, uh, okay, that's it! Say, that is a very big chicken! Og only pretend to be very big chicken. Then we shall only pretend to enjoy eating you. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go find Phil and give him a nice hot shower. What about Og? He can shower after Phil. Come on. <laughs> Unbearable. There you are, Phil. I've been looking for you for hours. The hot shower works perfectly now. Come on, you gotta try it. Well, why not? My day is totally shot anyway. I'll die of my mind. Shower of my mind. <laughs> See? I told you it worked. Oh, goodness. You really have done it, Crow. Oh, please, can I take the next shower? Please, please, please. Oh, Crow, I'd do anything for a shower. Anything. So you mentioned. Crow's birthday almost up. Crow ready? Ready. One, two, three, four. I wouldn't do this for just anyone, you know. I know, Phil. Thank you. Nine, ten, I'm gonna pass test. If it last thing, I'll do. Never gonna ride, Mammoth. You know you bipeds are laboring under a false assumption. It's not that we hate to be ridden, per se. No. We just like to be asked. Good heavens. When will you humans learn that good manners and a polite request are often all that's required to get a Mammoth's full cooperation? Excuse, Og, but if it not too much trouble, could Og ride, Earl? Please. Oh, dear. When did you humans learn how to learn? Oh, come on, Earl. Be a sport. He did ask politely. And at least now you can shower when it's over. Take two things you like. Play the pool in your very cool room. Put them together. Bonus. Talk about a waterbed. Now there's a taste that has it all together, too. Introducing Eggo Cinnamon Toast Waffles. Cinnamon Toast and Waffles together. Bonus. A psychedelic puzzle with cinnamon sweet pieces. Eggo Cinnamon Toast Waffles are a part of a complete breakfast you can't wait to dive into. What a lifesaver. New Eggo Cinnamon Toast Waffles. This taste has it all together. Ah, uh, we're here to clean your room. Then how can we finish my happy meal? We'll use our backup system. Back up. A little more. How's this? Fine. <laughs> it works. I love having a dragon around for emergencies. Call me if you need me. 
Excuse me, but you have a chicken on your head. Take my camera. I'd like a picture of that. Now most wacky Muppet Workshop puppets are at McDonald's. Swap their hats. Change their stuff. One with every Muppet Workshop Happy Meal you buy. Can you play my favorite song? It's not polite to sing with your mouth full. <laughs> He was lost until a boy gave him a home. We have this dog, but you don't even know how to sit. Now, together, lost in a vast wilderness, they found the friendship of a lifetime in an incredible adventure. You got six senses, right? Come on. You'll never forget. Come on. Far from home, the adventures of Yellow Dog, rated PG. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Morning. Now, Cookie Crisp. Uh oh. Oh, buddy gets away with my Cookie Crisp. Yes. Another opening shut case. Cookie Crisp, an exciting part of this complete breakfast. Cookie Crisp. Awesome. In specially marked boxes of Cookie Crisp, there's collector's caps you just can't miss. They're Bobby's World. You get six free in every box, and they look like Bobby. There's four sets to get only in Cookie Crisp. Cool. Last night, Lisa Watson got higher than she's ever been. And the only thing she took was first place. now before the northern lights appear. You're not too cold, are you, Mikey? How could it be? That sleeping bag is nice and toasty. Technically, Phil, the sleeping bag isn't nice and toasty. I am. The bag's just insulation that helps keep my own body heat from escaping. I think I'll go inside and grab some insulation for myself. Okay, Dr. C. There he is! Hey, what are you doing? What is it? Is it the abominable snowman? It was him! He just disappeared into the trees! But no matter, I have the abominable snowman on film! I must show Dr. C! Are you all right, Phil? My abominable snowman pictures. Don't fret, Phil. It was probably just a trick of the light anyway. The creature just doesn't exist. Mirale! The northern light. Spectacular! You know, Dr. C, you were right. It was probably just a trick of the light made me think I saw the creature. But who needs an abominable snowman anyway, when Mother Nature gives us this? Wednesday, when Tia gets a tattoo, Lisa practically jumps out of her skin on Sister Sister. Then, Margaret tries to find privacy in a basement apartment. Don't miss All-American Girl. Can an overly curious dinosaur survive in a modern-day big city? Stay tuned and find out on the ABC Saturday special, coming up next. This is ABC. I want 